games. That's probably not me, Marty. You don't talk to me much. <laughs> what do you mean? We're friends off yeah, camera. I, are we? Oh, no, we are, of course. Keep going. Hello and welcome to Film Crickets, where we review movies and acting and things and whatever we want. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes. So what are we cricketing today, Marnie? We are cricketing, as part of our retro classic review series, mm -hmm. we are cricketing one of my favourite movies, Man on Fire. Okay. Not literally a man on fire. No. Well, well, we shall see. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, uh, man on fire is with Denzel Washington mm -hmm. and Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. There's okay. actually a big cast in this movie. Mm. Don't you reckon? Well, I mean, I don't know. It seems fairly standard for a movie cast. Yeah, don't probably. You think? Well, it's kind of filmed in an indie, it's kind of indie kind of film. It's filmed in an indie way, don't you think? How do you mean? Well, just the way that the, um, I don't know, the cinematography in terms of, uh, well, you remember the, the bits where at the start where, you know, it's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's kind of flashing and mm -hmm. it just feels almost like, um, They've tried to give it an indie feel with a large cast. Okay. I don't know. That's how I kind of saw it. Okay. It's an interesting, interesting movie with, mm. that, with that sort of regard. Mm. But um, who else is in it again? That uh, The young girl. What's her name? Dakota Fanning. Uh, Dakota Fanning, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, so the story is a uh, ex-Special Forces guy who um, we don't know the backstory of, do we? Uh, not in any specific detail, but it no. is implied that they've done terrible, terrible things. Yes. Not unlike in The Highwaymen, where it was that sort of yeah. backstory of, we've done terrible things, I don't yeah. want to talk about it, man. Yeah, Just yeah. Just don't go there. That's right. It was yeah. similar to that. And uh, yeah, it was all implied. And he, you know, mm -hmm. he was, um, out, uh, obviously he'd gone to the bod drinking and, mm -hmm. um, but he's uh, essentially been asked to take on a job Mm -hmm. which is protecting the daughter of a wealthy family in Mexico. Yep. And he, um, yeah, he, I, I guess he kind of, not necessarily reluctantly takes on the job, but um, he kind of does it as a favour to his uh, good friend. Yeah. Well, he's suicidal at that point, And I think yeah. his friend, Christopher Walken's character, sort of knows that, but doesn't. Yeah. It's not really openly said between them, but yeah, there was that exchange where I think he's talking about... Maybe he's already taken the job at that point, but where he's mm. asking him, you know, under what circumstance would the, a, a round not fire from a gun when he's tried to... Oh, yeah, yeah, there's that yeah. scene where, yeah, yeah. that's um, pretty compelling, that scene mm. where he's um, he's thinking, yeah, he obviously tries to kill himself, but the, the, uh, the bullet doesn't go off. Mm. And um, he's saying, oh, is this, is this guy... Oh, that's one thing that actually I'd like to bring up about the movie and that, mm. it, that obviously it's set in Mexico, but there's this whole thing about um, the church and God and that sort of stuff coming into the movie, yes. don't, don't, don't that's, you reckon? That's a common theme in a lot of Denzel Washington's movies in um, The Book of Eli. Oh, yeah. Similar. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. But um, he, uh, you know, you hear the church bells um, coming in all the time mm. and um, that's one thing that I, I kind of that's why I think it was kind of that indie type feel where you wouldn't expect these sounds coming in but they've got like church bells and yeah. then there's this whole undertone of um, Linda Ronstadt's uh, song Blue, Blue Bayou oh, yeah. <laughs> and and you know it's that all that sort of stuff coming through that I don't know it just that's that's obviously feeding the story mm. but at the same time it, I think it had that kind of indie indie type feel it, it wasn't progressing the 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 story along but it was in, it was in kind of informing um informing it in a way that it was you know he's kind of religious yeah. but he's on he's on that cusp of of killing himself mm. um you know and he's and he's grasping at at things like linda ronstadt's song yeah. and you know, I wish life was maybe a bit better, but then you know he's gonna he's gonna kill himself. So yeah, these these are all things that he was grappling with. I think that's yeah. Um, yeah. So it takes really its time. Out. Is that what you mean by it? it's not a rushed type of 
in in the no. way that sometimes blockbusters have to the story has to be moving all yeah. the time. Yes. Yeah. 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 It took yeah, its okay. time to get yeah. to get to that point. I see what yeah. you mean now. Yes. Yeah. By yeah. indie, it does it does uh, explore the characters a lot. Yeah. Like this is what I was saying to somebody else. I can't. Maybe it was you. Stop mm. me if I've already said this. Yeah. But in the Hunger Games, it's probably not me, maybe. Like, you don't talk to me much. <laughs> what do you mean? We're friends off yeah, camera. I, are we? Oh, no, we are, of course. Keep going. Anyway. I'm joking. <laughs> In the Hunger Games, um, I didn't feel like I, I mean I like the movies, but I didn't feel the connection, particularly between the sisters at the very in the first. This is the first movie I'm talking about. Yeah. Where. The, where her name is drawn out of the barrel and she has to be in the Hunger Games and yeah. it's like an oh my gosh moment. Yeah. But I didn't feel that was as impactful as it could be because I don't think they'd built the relationship between the sisters and the family oh, yes. enough yeah, at yeah. that point. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. So I mean, it's still a, a it's still an impactful moment in that yeah. movie, but this is where I think Man on Fire does really, really well, where mm. it lets the characters really develop. And so you're so invested by the time something happens. And it happens sort of quite a way into the movie where the bad thing, spoiler alert, Yeah, it comes, it, happens. Yeah, spoiler alert, it's, yeah. uh, well, we've probably spoiled the whole movie right now, but, well, yeah. um, but that's what we do. Yeah. It's what we, how we roll here. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, it, the, the, the bad thing happens uh, right in the middle of the movie, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And, um, and the, the previous portion is spent really getting the characters to connect. Yeah. Mm. It, 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 is, it is quite interesting how that, that um, it, it really happens in that middle act. The, 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 the bad thing happens right in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, but it does a really good job of of taking you along this story because it is character driven you know it's like taking you along this story and you always want to know kind of what's going to happen next what's going to happen next you know is he, mm. he, he you know is he is he that far gone that he's going to do something or mm. or oh, he you definitely know. is going to do something yeah 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 you no know, it's going to be good yeah 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 <laughs> not well, for the baddies. Well, yeah that's right so so yeah that's that's um mm. that's where it's you know that's where it's that sort of indie feel is what i was trying mm. to trying to get to yeah yeah, yeah. yeah brings up another good point which is to do with the character development and how Denzel Washington apparently works uh, and he did not want to get to know Dakota Fanning's character off camera like he didn't he didn't want to talk to her off camera or I mean maybe he did I don't know yeah but he didn't want to get to know her at all until they were that point in the filming that point in the yeah. story where the characters do bond yes because he didn't I guess he didn't want any uh, rapport to sort of bleed over into his performance with her yeah when, when he's not supposed to have a connection with her in those scenes in those in those initial yeah. scenes yeah. um yeah i think i yeah, that must you know obviously his his methodology of, mm. of doing something mm. like that i think it was tony scott in the commentary of that movie who says mm. uh he was speaking to dakota fanning about it at the time he says you know yeah. don't worry that's just his process and yeah he, blah 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 and she's like i oh, know yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's yeah. a professional as well. She, uh, you know, how, she's done a bunch of movies before that. Well, how, how, you know, she's, how good is she? Oh, yeah, we yeah. just have to point that out. Yeah. Um, amazing. Mm. Uh, just, uh, yeah, look, she, there was a moment in, um, there's a moment where she gives the, the medallion to him. Mm. And, uh, you know, he says, um, you know, he sort of looks at her and, and he says, thank, I think he says thank you or something. Mm. And then, you know, she just has this look on her face that just, oh, it was just amazing how it was just felt, felt so true. Yeah. Almost like, you know, obviously she's way above, beyond her years, by the way. Mm, she's a uh, very yeah. smart, smart kid. But, yeah. um, but she just fed that scene with a lot of truth. Yeah. You know, I felt um, that was, that scene in particular, she was a little bit precocious. I was like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. Just some of the things she was saying, or I don't know. I mean, I love the movie on the whole. But that scene was like, oh, she's, I feel, she's like a little bit of an, a too much adult there. Yeah. Well, this, this was, it was such a sort of strange kind of presumptuous. Well, there was the whole thing about. You're a lost cause. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was, I can see what they were doing. It was a nice moment, but I felt like, oh, that's a little bit, I don't Yeah. One foot out of reality. I think I what they missed, there was one mm -hmm. bit what they didn't, f and may, they may have caught it and they may have, you know, obviously been cut out was that. They just needed to do a little bit more work there. Why she kind of um, was, why she loved him? Because she essentially she loved him. Mm. She 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 had the feeling that she could love him and that she. But 
you know, is it like instant love like that? Does it happen? These, you know, this kid just instantly loves this mm. guy and could trust him with her life. And but I, I think they yeah. they explored that a little bit in the car when they were driving, and he was, you know, he was kind of like, um, you know, sort of feeding yeah. her a couple of times. You know, that sort of relationship of her being a kid and him being the the adult and. Mm you better stay a kid and I'll be the adult, I'll yeah. look after you sort of thing. Mm. But yeah, look, I, I, um, I think she was amazing in it, mm. um, as, as she, she is, and uh, yeah, yeah, so that was, that was a mm. good part. What was your favourite part of the movie? Or favorite oh, part? yeah, so my, my favourite part of the movie was... Mm. Uh, oh, so many. <laughs> well, you know, it, it was a great movie, and um, uh, I, I love that bit where uh, he'd obviously... You know, well, what happens, I guess, in the movie is that halfway through she gets kidnapped. <gasps> uh, I've seen it. I'm just kidding. Yeah. And, Go uh, and then he goes, uh, he gets shot and everything, but he, while he's recovering, he goes on the rampage mm. and he's, he's on this revenge yeah. rampage and he's killing people mm. and the police, uh, specifically one detective, is, is worried about what type of person that they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. So he uh, informs himself by going to um, to Denzel's character's friend, who actually uh, 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 basically introduced him to the to the to the job. Yeah, Christopher Walken, and the, the exchange between the detective and Christopher Walken was was good. In that, detective says, uh, "Who are we dealing with here?" And um, I'm just paraphrasing here. Don't this is not word for word, by the way. So um, he says, uh, well, you know, you know, an artist, right? Well, um, Creasy's art, and Creasy's the, the, the character's name, Denzel's mm. character's name, Creasy's art is death. And he's just about to paint his masterpiece. <laughs> I just, I just, the, how he's delivered that line mm. is, um, it's, I, I don't think they gave it justice, mm. you know, really. That was my favorite part because yeah. I thought, you know what, that's totally summed up with mm. with how he was feeling yeah and what he was about to do yeah and um it was, it was and uh and yeah look uh, uh, that was my favorite what was your mm. favorite part man? uh I, mm, I love the part where i mean i don't love the part it's incredibly gory and i don't like watching it but oh yeah the part where he's got that man he's torturing him for information yes and he's taped his hands to the steering wheel and is <laughs> cutting his fingers off one by one yes. speaking to him in spanish and he says a word wrong or pronounces it incorrectly yeah and the guy corrects him he's like, no, no it's wadianes you fool yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. like oh okay yeah, wadianes oh. <laughs> where are the guardians <laughs> yeah. his fingers off. Yeah. It's, so, it's so like why would you do that yeah you're being tortured Maybe gram grammatically or, you know, yeah. breaking someone. It's not important right now. Yeah. But, you know, that's just me. Well, you know, the yeah. guy obviously that was being tortured mm. obviously thought was... he wouldn't go that far, I reckon. That's why he was kind of oh, playing with him he almost. He was cutting his fingers off. I would be believing it at that point. Well, maybe but, it's yeah. the psyche of, of, yeah. of these types no. of guys yeah. who just it thought was... they were untouchable and yeah. they didn't yeah. care. And, you know, that's I think that point. maybe yeah. played into yeah. that. Yeah. And I mean, it was it was sort of like a funny but not funny moment in that yeah where yeah it's yeah, just yeah. Like, why, why, it's a bit of humor yeah. <laughs> yeah it quickly turns yeah. bad the other another favorite part similar with the hand mutilation thing uh is when you like the, hand you like mutilation no hands. i don't like gore but this movie i just you know i like it yeah get past there it wasn't it. too much but there it, mm, is a bit. this is the indie thing about it i think it was kind of like this yeah, there was a bit, I've got to say. There yeah. was blood and, you know, obviously shooting and killing and stuff like yeah. that. But they did it in a way that wasn't outright gore that they do now. Like now it's, yeah, they, they, you know, the, with the scene that you were just about to talk about, mm. which is go. Uh, the, uh, the bit where he's got the, what's his, the boss guy's name? The big boss, his brother. Yeah, his brother. And yeah. his the voice, they called it. Voice, the voice, yeah. yeah. So, and uh, he's saying to him on the phone he hang on your brother wants to talk to you and he puts him on and then goes yeah with his hand shoots his like, shoots his minute, basically like, shoots half his hand off with screaming, the screaming. He's like, yeah. i don't want your money i don't want you you hear me <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah like, yeah i like that yeah 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 because it just, was yeah, yeah like the the way he plays it, you don't even expect his character to do it. You think, okay, so they're going to have a conversation and that's how that's going to go. Yeah. And, but then it's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> just do? Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. Another, yeah. Just a, like a, what do you call it? 
unexpected. Yeah, it was a really unexpected moment. I like the moment. unexpected. Yeah, sometimes. okay. It can okay. be very it's yeah. thrilling. Yeah, yeah. The word. No, yeah. And uh, well, that, that bit there, what, what I was going to get back to was the indie style was that they, you, cut, you saw him put, put the gun to the hand and shoot it. But then they quickly mm. sort of switched away from that where he was saying, you know, I don't want your money. Yeah. So it wasn't like this gore where you see like, you know, blood spurting out or. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like that. No. But it didn't need to be like that. That's mm. the thing. It was about the storyline. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was, uh, look, it was good. Um, so, okay, we're at that point, I think, mm -hmm. unless you want to talk a little bit more about the movie. Mm. I think we're at the point of rating. The cricket rating? The, yeah. So what, right. what, how many crickets would you give it, Mark? Okay. Or now do, no, do you give is, it? This is going to shock you. But, uh, <laughs> You're going to go high, aren't you? Ten out of ten You're going ten high. Crickets. You're going high. She's going high. <laughs> yes. She's going to the ten it straight away. amazing. <laughs> more, okay. like, character development, the time that they took to connect the characters and invest you in it. And so when the, the bleep goes down, you're like, no. Yeah, yeah. No, Peter Ramos. And, oh, my God, the bit where she runs to her mum at the end. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the feelings. Yeah. It was like goosebumps. Mm. Mm. Okay. okay. It was, yeah, it was a very good, very sad, gory, but ultimately you feel sort of good at the yeah. end. I mean, yeah. not that good because, you know, mm. bad things. No. But it is a good movie and I, yeah, I can't, I can't fault it. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. 10 out of 10 crickets. Okay. Great. What would you give it? I'm going to, I'm going to go high too. Yeah. High, high for me. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to get 10? No, you're not going to get 10. You're going to get eight and a half for me. That's not high. That's <laughs> high for me. Eight and a half. I, I, I was going to do a nine. Yeah. What's that? Um, there was, you know, nine, I have to, I have to be quite emotional in the, in the movie. I, there was times where you, where it was emotional, but mm. for me, even at the end where she does come out and she's alive, I don't know. It, I just couldn't, I, I couldn't get there emotionally. No. You know, like... I, I would have thought I'd be, you know, almost sort of teary eyed mm. that that was happening. But because the way that it, the way that it ended with him still going, it didn't end with them coming together and, you know, they're all safe and all that sort of stuff. Well, I probably would have cried then. But Well, so because he gets into the car with them and they don't kill him right there. Is that what you mean? Yeah, they don't kill him right at the end, right towards the end. Yeah, he gets into the car and it's yeah. it's almost like why hasn't this guy finished his journey here um which is fine I, I get it they're trying they're trying to say that he eventually does finish his life journey mm. um he's, sac he's essentially sacrificed himself yeah um but yeah i don't know i just couldn't get there because of oh, what's going to happen now is he going off to the other guy we're going to see that scene and or is he and then obviously he dies before that but mm. that's why i couldn't i was trying to i was almost waiting for that last oh, bit so yeah you felt like it left you hanging a little bit a little bit yeah okay. yeah yeah that's mm. kind of like anyway that's yeah. where i've mm. kept that um mm. why well, i've mm. kept that to an eight and a half mm. wow yeah jeez I'm, you I'm were so harsh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so that's it for today yes. for this one this was uh this was fun the movie was great and it was. um it was thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe yes please do see you later